You're watching Unreal Amp Gaming. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You want to see me turn Super Saiyan? Or should I take it to the next level? I'm also the narrator, too. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, make sure and smash subscribe to Unreal Amp Gaming. earliest concept ideas for Super Saiyan 5 stems all the way back to the late 90s and early 2000s with the introduction of a post Dragon Ball GT fan manga titled Dragon Ball AF and through its lore having to spread throughout the internet community and into the Dragon Ball fandom, Super Saiyan 5 had often been regarded as a transformation that many fans within the fanfiction community deem as one of the absolute best things to happen within the fan created community, however, what if I told you that there was a concept introduced that took the powers of Super Saiyan 5 and further transcended that beyond its current standard. As this is the story of the birth of Super Saiyan 6, as we dive into a battle so intense that one must beg the question, would such a concept idea be plausible within Dragon Ball, or would this be a concept idea that's far beyond one's ability to reach? As once more before we begin, if you are new to this channel and have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball and anime related, then be sure to smash that subscribe button on this channel and turn on all notifications to never miss a single upload along with giving this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys love Dragon Ball and anime as well as checking out the official Dragon Ball fan mangas playlist located down in the description box below to where on that playlist you guys will be able to find all the latest and best Dragon Ball fan mangas created by the community for the community so be sure to head on down below check out the official Dragon Ball fan mangas playlist for all the best and latest videos on Dragon Ball fan mangas. As we kick off the Beyond Dragon Ball AF Legend of the Sixth Power manga chapter special, as the narration opens up by letting us know three years after the arrival of Zykor on Earth, and the landscape is seemingly enough destroyed with craters all over the place, chunks of mountains having to be torn apart, there's thunder and lightning all over the place, as the end result of all of this going down is due to the battle between Super Saiyan 5 Goku and Super Saiyan 5 Vegeta, as the two are shown going back and forth, Vegeta is shown having to punch Goku in the face by telling him, this isn't going to end how you think it's going to end, Kakarot. With Goku then having to retaliate by further punching Vegeta in the face, he only then replies, then tell me how it's going to end, Vegeta. We're completely equal. With Vegeta then stumbling back, he only then responds, Ksur. We couldn't be any more different, clown. Our forms may be the same, but our skills and power is not. Don't gas yourself up because you aren't going to surpass me again. As Goku went along to respond, after Zykor, we've become incredibly powerful, Vegeta, but you always seem to make the same mistake. We agreed to fight only because we wanted to see where we stood compared to one another. You've pushed yourself to extreme lengths in order to evolve and I respect you for that, but your greatest weakness has always been your ego. How do you expect to beat me when we're at a standstill? You are the most impressive Saiyan in history, but as good as you are Vegeta, I'm that much better. And it's not by luck either. I push myself just as hard as you do, sometimes even harder harder and this won't end until one of us gives up. So the main reason why Goku and Vegeta are fighting is because both of them came to an understanding and an agreement to fight each other to see which Super Saiyan 5 between the two is in fact superior, and it's due to the fact that so far only Goku and Vegeta were able to push themselves this far in achieving such power, Vegeta went along to shout, I'll die before I ever give up to you Kakarot. You think I didn't train for this day? You think I didn't train to overpower you? Because I did. So unless you are the one who plans to give up, then we will fight to the death and I am willing to die to prove my point. As he only then continues to shout, we are the strongest in the multiverse at this point, but there can only be one. So what's it going to be? And with Goku smirking, he then went along to reply, only one, huh? <laughs> 
You amaze me, Vegeta. Thank you for always being my friend and for always being my rival. But if that's how it's going to be with Goku Shon putting his fingers on his forehead, he only then continues, then let's continue. As he quickly then uses instant transmission in getting behind Vegeta, Vegeta only then comments, not this again, as he quickly blocks off Goku's attack. He quickly then comments, damn you Kakarot, that won't work on me anymore. So instant transmission seems to be something that Vegeta is really used to in this fight because he seems to have gauged a better understanding as to where Goku was going to reappear every single time he used it, and as the two end up going back and forth, it only further goes to show how barbaric this battle is because with Vegeta punching Goku, Goku punching Vegeta, Vegeta retaliating, Goku countering, Goku eventually ends up getting the upper hand by knocking Vegeta away, and the second he does so, Goku follows by unleashing massive amounts of energy blasts directly at Vegeta as he went along to then tell him, you won't outlast Ask me, Vegeta. I trained years to master Super Saiyan 5, but then Vegeta is shown dashing through the smoke as he seems to be unfazed by Goku's attacks as he then went along to tell him, so have I, Kakarot. You're not the only one. As he then quickly tries to punch Goku, he misses because Goku ducks under and then gives Vegeta a thunderous punch to the gut, but even then it doesn't stop there because after tanking Goku's attack, Vegeta ends up flipping Goku around and getting behind him and telling him, you're too soft, Kakarot, as he then wraps his arms around Goku's throat in literally choking him on the spot. He only then tells him, I told you how this was going to end. You won't be the one writing this story. This is simply the end of your chapter, as Vegeta then begins to squeeze more and more in wanting to literally choke Goku out he then continues do you see now Kakarot I'll squeeze the life out of you before I ever let you trump me what you also fail to understand is that this isn't my limit either there is more to Super Saiyan 5 than you know and I'm going to show you what it is as Goku is then shown not just getting choked out by Vegeta to the point where he's beginning to break out in a sweat but to the point where Goku looks like at any given moment Moment, he's just about to pass out as he only then replies there goes your ego talking Vegeta I won't let you beat me no matter what I still have a lot more to show you as well with Goku then cocking his arm he only then proceeds to elbow Vegeta multiple times in the stomach with Vegeta choking him as Goku eventually ends up breaking Vegeta's guard he only then tells him you are going to have to hit me with everything you got and then some in order to walk away from this in one piece. But even then, Vegeta still isn't letting up because he quickly gets in front of Goku and grabs him by the throat and telling him, then I'll choke you to death, clown. With Vegeta not stopping, he only then grabs Goku by the throat and slams him directly down on the ground. Goku is shown in agony as he comments, damn it, let go of me, Vegeta. Solar Flare! And with Goku using the Solar Flare right in front of Vegeta's face, Vegeta is blinded because he is then forced to let go in shielding his eyes as he only then shouts, Damn you! Not this again! Which, mind you, was a brilliant counter considering the fact that your opponent is literally choking you from a close enough distance in using such a technique. Because it is only at that moment where Goku again turns the tables on Vegeta in getting behind him and shouting, I won't let you win, Vegeta, in literally knocking Vegeta down into the ground. As Goku then goes on to tell him, face the fact that we are evenly matched. There is nothing you can do to change that. As Goku knocks Vegeta into the ground, he then gets behind him as he continues, you've gotten so powerful over the years, but the fact still stands that we are fighting at a complete stalemate. With of course Goku shown having to have his hand on his throat, he only then goes on to say to himself, wait, how is he not losing any power? something's wrong, and as Vegeta is shown slowly getting back up, he only then went along to tell Goku, you never cease to amaze me, Kakarot, but for the first time in your life, you seem comfortable with where you're at, and with Goku questioning this, he only then asks, comfortable? What are you talking about, Vegeta? Comfortable with what? And as Vegeta goes on to stand back up, he only then continues, comfortable with settling at Super Saiyan 5. For the first time, you've overlooked the idea of there being another power. A higher power than this one. As he only then makes his way back up, he then continues, While you were too busy trying to figure out the best way to master Super Saiyan 5, I was battling my way through and figuring out a level beyond it. 
a level beyond you. As he then goes on to point at Goku, he then continues, and unlike you, I took the time to break myself down in order to see what's on the other side, and I finally discovered a power that dwarfs our current power. The more you continue to deny that I have finally eclipsed you, the likely you are to see firsthand how wrong you are. I am going to show you a power capable of multiversal strength, a nearly limitless form that will never be achieved again, and with Vegeta dashing towards Goku, he then went along to remind Goku and telling him, allow me to show you a power beyond your understanding. And Goku is taken back because he then goes on to say to himself, how did he increase his speed this much out of nowhere? With Vegeta then quickly capitalizing and delivering a bone-rattling shot to Goku's stomach, he then went along to come and do you feel it, Kakarot? Now tell me I was bluffing, and as Goku hits the floor, Vegeta proceeds to put his foot on top of Goku's back, keeping him down on the ground on all fours, as he then comments there is still so much for you to catch up with. This is where you belong, under my feet. I've longed for this day. So, there seems to be a power that Vegeta had discovered that far goes beyond Super Saiyan 5, in further having to remind Goku on where exactly he falls on the totem pole when it comes to power comparisons, and Vegeta isn't bluffing by having to illustrate to Goku exactly what he means by a power far beyond his understanding, as Vegeta only then continues, I respect you and all you've achieved throughout your life. Don't mistake in that, Kakarot, but I never forgot my place in this world, especially when it came to falling behind you. It was only a matter of time before I caught back up and surpassed you. With Vegeta applying pressure and keeping Goku down, Goku only then went along to respond, Vegeta, just what kind of training did you do? What power did you discover that I wasn't able to? There's just no way, and with Vegeta then grabbing Goku by the hair and slowly lifting him up, he only then replies, It's a rare, unstable power, one not meant for a mortal to achieve. A mindless, ruthless power that causes one's mind to shatter, similar to our once great ape transformation. I never went through fully transforming into it due to my fear of losing who I was, so I was able to feel a glimpse of this form, and with Goku then having to stagger back and breaking away from Vegeta's hold, he only then went along to ask, what power Vegeta? What form? Did you master Kaioken on top of stacking it on Super Saiyan 5? What are you talking about? As Vegeta then eerily enough tells Goku, Super Saiyan 6. And Goku can't believe it because he then goes on to respond, Super Saiyan 6? What are you talking about? There can't be another form beyond this, at least not until mastering this power first. And with Vegeta shown transforming and powering up, he then went along to respond, then allow me to show you. As Vegeta then begins to raise his power up so much so, that it is literally affecting the entire environment around him. It's creating a crater on the ground, Vegeta's power just keeps soaring, and with Goku having to shield himself, he then went along to reply, I... I can't believe this. He's changing. What unbelievable power. I never felt anything like this before. Could this really be? Is this truly the power of Super Saiyan 6? This is unreal, Vegeta. How did you do it? Because... Vegeta wasn't bluffing when he said that there existed a power far beyond Super Saiyan 5, to where outside of Vegeta's control, this was the first time that he was going to tap into such a power, because the thought of having to do this before terrified Vegeta in the fact that you completely lose all consciousness of yourself once you end up tapping into this power, and once Vegeta is shown having to transform, Goku is still guarding himself as he goes on to comment, I'm losing ground! Damn! To where finally, at long last, after Vegeta had completed his transformation, Goku stares on in absolute horror as he goes on to comment, No way! To where at long last, Vegeta had not only finally surpassed Goku, but he also tapped into a power that Goku did not believe existed, as Vegeta is shown hovering in all his glory with his hair having to be extended, his pupils are gone, he's drooling from the mouth, his hair is longer, there is a massive fiery aura engulfing him, so Vegeta Vegeta for the first time managed to tap into a power 
that Goku now seems to fear because as Goku looks on, he can't seem to believe what Vegeta had just done, and Goku wastes little time as he goes on to power up and commenting, I won't lose this time to hit you with my full power. Let's go! And with Goku using instant transmission, he dashes towards Vegeta's direction in connecting what seems to be Goku's full powered punch to Vegeta's face directly, but Vegeta did not budge, but instead, he took the hit head on as he quickly retaliates by then having to punch Goku, to where the only difference here is Vegeta's punch came with such force that it caused Goku to literally go flying through several planets in the solar system, and even with Goku's carcass having to be shown flying through space, Vegeta teleported behind Goku, in then having to kick Goku from behind all the way back to Earth as Goku's body is shown hitting the ground with tremendous amounts of pressure that you can only imagine that it only took Super Saiyan 6 Vegeta two shots, a punch to the face, and a kick to the spine to really bring Goku down, and with Vegeta touching back down in having to observe Goku in a massive crater, Goku, who is incapacitated, went along to comment, v Vegeta, I, I can't feel my body. What amazing power. I can't believe this. Your energy is on another level. As Vegeta then grabs Goku by the throat and lifting him up, Goku then comments, Gah, Vegeta. No! With Vegeta then having to hold Goku up above him before throwing him out into the distance, with Goku shown hitting the ground, he only then comments, I... I can't continue this fight like this. You win, Vegeta. And with Vegeta shown looking down, his final words to Goku are, Cat... Kakarot, as the manga chapter special then comes to a close. Now, the one thing I really enjoyed about creating this fan manga for you guys is the fact that we don't really get too much of Super Saiyan 5 action. As a matter of fact, there is an abundance of content that features Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan 4, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super, but never really enough of some of the Dragon Ball AF content outside of Young Gigi and Toyable, so I figured I'd create a story to where Goku and Vegeta fought equally as Super Saiyan 5s, because we never really had any kind of showcase like that, and I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below as a hypothetical scenario if Super Saiyan 5 Goku battled against a hypothetical Super Saiyan 5 Vegeta, both at full power considering everything you've seen and perhaps have learned from Dragon Ball AF, then between the two I want to know who you guys believe would emerge the victor in this story because I wanted to introduce a brand new level given the meme that's always been running within the Dragon Ball community about there being Super Saiyan 6, Super Saiyan 7, 8, 9, and 10, Super Saiyan 100, and I figured why not take this a step beyond that and introduce a momentary transformation, one that far supersedes even that of Super Saiyan 5. So I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below about Goku giving up because he simply can't defeat the power that is of Super Saiyan 6 Vegeta. And if you guys have any other comments or concepts that you would like to see, then drop them in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching, guys, once more. If, of course, you guys are new to this channel, then I do encourage you guys to smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a single upload. Hit this video up with a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below, and be sure to check out some of the previous Dragon Ball fan mangas. That playlist will be located down in the description box below. Thank you all so much for your time. Also, if you guys are not already subscribed to my vlogging channel, I've started a podcast on there. We've been doing some really cool vlogs as that channel goes by Unreal Vlogs. So you guys can find that link also located down below. So be sure to subscribe over on there as well. Thank you all so much for your time. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day, everybody. Peace. And a quick little reminder before you guys go, if you guys are unaware, I do have a second gaming channel located down in the description box below, so be sure to head on over to Unreal Royale and hit that subscribe button along with turning on all notifications as to there, you guys will find all different kinds of gaming content that you will not get to find on Unreal and Gaming, titles and video games such as Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, Gears of War, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, Dragon Ball Z Legends, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi, G3, Minecraft, Blair Witch, and many other retro games on that channel. So if you guys are into gaming, then make sure you guys subscribe over on Unreal Royale. I want to thank you all so much for your time, and I'll catch you all in the next one. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming. Also follow Unrelent Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead!
<laughs> oh, did someone say unrelent gaming? Oh, my God. The fuck, Zabon? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! But, uh, Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh-oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs> that I am the biggest Unreal Engine gaming fan. This is my moment. I'm a part of his notification squad. Universe 7 can have all the fun. I just want the food. And don't forget to leave a comment on this video. Show some love for the best community on YouTube. <laughs> K -k 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 -k